Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 39 of the Pokemon Shield NFE playthrough. Today we're going to be focusing on trying to capture the Swords of Justice. Uh, first things first, let's see how many Pokeballs we have because that's going to be a big deal. Okay, that's good enough I think. Alright, the first one we're going to catch, because it's the closest one to us, is going to be Verizon. So, I think Phantump is the absolute best Pokemon to lead with here. Because <clears throat> with it being part ghost, the fighting type moves won't do anything to it. The grass type moves are going to be not very effective. I'm not sure if it knows anything other than um, fighting in grass, to be honest. Um, uh, oh, well, anyway, we'll find out. But I think Phantump will be a good matchup. So, anyway, if we're looking for Verizon. Uh, we're gonna want to go close to where the uh, old the old ghost-like buildings are. Uh, do, 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 right down here. And what's this over here? Verizon. Same as the Reggies. If you um, I don't know what happens if you beat it, or but I know if you run away that you're able to battle again. So um. I would imagine if you beat it or it beats you that you're still okay. That's just my guess. Uh, yeah. Sacred Sword misses because we're a ghost type. It's a phantom paying off already. Um, let's see here. So it's going to be hit by hail. It's also burned. Good. Let's try a shadow ball on it. Combat doesn't hit. Our Shadow Ball does almost nothing, so the Burn and Hail are really going to help out. Um, so let's see. Shadow Ball again. The Sword Stance doesn't matter if you're using the fighting moves. All right, come on. Can't tell by all the yawning. I'm filming at night again. <laughs> so, forgive me for that. I'm going to go ahead and chuck one just because I know the hail and the burn are going to steadily wear it down. Nothing on the first attempt. All right, we're keeping that going. There's that leaf blade. Phantom takes it like a real champ. <clears throat> all right, let's see here. Rising almost down in the red. Let's try an Ultra Ball again. Do, 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 do. Sacred Sword misses. Do, 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 do. All right, Ultra Ball. All right, there we go. We got Verizon. One down, two plus to go. No, you're not going to evolve, Celio. Sorry. No, Kabuto. And finally... No to Pupitar. All right, and there's our Verizon. Let's go ahead and uh, move it to the PC for the time being. Well, let's all let's all admit. Uh, let's all face it. Boltund is a legendary in this playthrough. <laughs> My legendary mistake. Oh man. All right, so we got um, Verizian. So Cobalion's over here and Terrakian's over here. Uh, we'll go get Cobalion first. I remember the exact spot that Cobalion's in.
Whereas Terrakian, it's more of a I know the area situation. Alright, uh, we can manage to get by all the uh, Pokemon in the water here. Hi, Spiel. Hi, Walrein. Altaria. There we go, Cobalion. Uh, let's see. I think I think Phantom would be a good choice here again if we didn't already have damage from the last fight. Do we have any potions? Oh, we have an energy root. Okay. So uh, here we go. All in. All right, Phantom. Let's uh, will wisp it right away so it doesn't destroy everything in one hit. All right, good. That sword's dance was useless because of the will o wisp. Good job. No hail on this battlefield, so uh, we'll have to probably do more damage ourselves here before trying to throw pokeballs at it. Let's see, it's part steel. Dig would be super effective if we actually get the the move off. Close combat misses. So I think they all have close combat and sacred sword and sword stance, from what I can tell. And then uh, the difference being uh, Verizian had Leaf Blade. I would imagine that uh, Cobalion here probably has Iron Head or Flash Cannon, most likely Iron Head. And Terrakian probably has Rock Slide or Stone Edge, something like that. That's my guess, though. I don't know for sure. Unless we see it while we're battling him. Alright. Let's see here. Dig again. This is also buying us time for the burn damage. Sacred Sword again. It would have missed anyway. There's a good dig. We're going to get some more burn damage. All right, let's just start hucking Pokeballs at it again. Here's an Ultra Ball. All right. Well, he gave us one shake on the first try. Another Swords Dance. All right. Okay, one again and nothing else. Iron Head. All right, so that proves that moveset. Good work, Phantom. You've been great in both of these encounters so far. All right, Celio. All right, let's go with an Ultra Ball here. Critical Catch. Ah. Oh. The luck we've had the last few episodes, I was really, I really believed that that was gonna, that that was gonna happen for us. I'm gonna get probably two more throws out of one or two more throws, so uh, gotta make them count. All right, Ultra Ball again. Nothing. Wow. All right, you're on one health. Let me catch you. All right, well, we beat it. So there's that. Now, I believe that it will come back, but we may have to wait till the next recording. Um, I believe the way that it works is if you defeat them in battle, you, um, I shouldn't have done that. That's not what I meant to do. All right. Well, we'll bike back anyway. I know that when you run away, you can, you, you can go to your camp. Like you can, um, set up your campsite and it'll force a respawn. I think when you defeat them in battle, they do come back. Kind of like if you fought the random, uh, Garchomp or Salamant 
nights and beat it. But I think it might wait until the next day. And so if that's the case, we may have to wait till next time to tackle Cobalion. Nope, it's right there again. Prove me wrong. Okay. Just had to leave the area and come back. That's even better, though. I personally tested that for everybody. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Positive spin on that. All right, Cobalion, let's try this again. Almost threw a Pokeball at it by accident. My bad. Let's try Will-O-Wisp again. Because it still comes in handy to help the odds of my other Pokemon for maybe surviving an attack. Plus, even though Dig's super effective, we're not exactly doing a lot of damage to it when we attack. So, uh, having the uh, burn on it helps. Alright, we flinched. I'm actually kind of surprised that the Iron Head didn't do more, even with the burn. To be honest. Since we are just a Phantom, we don't have an Eviolite or anything like that on us. That might be an interesting moveset to try out. An Eviolite, Phantom. Huh. I'll have to look into that later. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to do a mo some moveset videos. Um, let, let you guys see all my competitive movesets and such. Um, but I want to. I kind of want to finish the uh, Crown Tundra first. After we're done catching all the legendaries, then I might start doing the moveset videos. Alright, let's see. Let's get one more dig in. There's one more burn. Alright, start hucking Pokeballs at it again. Oh for one in the second battle. <laughs> well, now, especially now I know there's no consequence for beating it. The burn is a great strategy in my case because I don't have anything with Thunder Wave. And obviously, there's no way to really control when something gets frozen. So, this gives me a status condition I can put on them at least. That does steadily whittle them down. All right, I think we'll get two more throws, and then we'll have to start over again. Wow. I think next time I'll do one less dig. I talked about it this time and still did the same amount. I think next time we'll do one less dig so that we have uh, more turns to just throw Pokeballs at it. All right. Leave the area and come back. Actually, before I do that, let's test that uh, test to see if the uh, camping exploit works when you defeat it too. All right, that was bag. That was, well, I mean, we need to go to the bag anyway. No, we don't. Okay, camp. Alright, hi everybody. Love you so much. Yeah, you're great Pokemon. Okay, back. Does that bring it back? Yep, it sure does. Okay, so the camping exploit works if you defeat a Pokemon too. Okay. Let's try again. Will-O-Wisp. Well, it wasn't burned that time, so it took us out. Okay. Well, if we get down too low, we'll bring Phantom back. Uh, sure. That's gonna hurt. We don't live that without Eviolite, I can tell you that right now. Its defenses are down, so this Surf might hit it for more than I was. I think that would be great. Okay, pretty pretty solid damage. Swords Dance, darn it. I was hoping he'd give us another turn of getting to hit him. His defenses are going to fall again, though. 
This puts me in an odd spot because I don't know if it would survive a dig at the rate it's going. Uh, I guess Kabuto on the off chance it does Swords Dance. Oh, we survived the Iron Head? Oh, we flinched. Of course we did. There we go. There's that Swords Dance. Alright, liquidation. Does this defeat it? No. Okay. It's not the worst thing in the world that could have happened there. Uh, let's use this turn because I think Kabuto is going down this turn. We'll use it to bring back Phantom. Alright. Uh, Rio Lu. We are just a Riolu, though. Let's go for it and see what happens. Swords Dance, so we are going to hit it. We're going to find out how strong Riolu is here with those uh, defense drops on the uh, Cobalion. Perfect. We don't have to burn it or anything. Nice job, Riolu. All right, here we go. Ultra Ball number one in this encounter. One shaken out. There goes Riolu. That's at least three close combats, I think, right? Oh, I'm silly. I can check the info and see the stat drops. That'll tell me how many it's done. Uh, Pupitar. All right. Info. Minus three. Okay, so it's used three of its five close combats. Okay. All right, Phantom. Let's see how you do, buddy. Let's go, girl. You got this. You got this. I hope. All right, Ultra Ball. Man, I hate that they make it look so much like it's going to be a catch. All right, that time we got beat. So Cobalion's being a bit of a pain in the butt right now. But uh, you work with what you're you work with what you're given. We've got a team of five, and uh, that's about as well as that team can uh, perform right there. <sighs> All right, let's fly back over there. We'll give it our try. We get beat. Maybe I'll move on to showing you guys where Terrakian is. <laughs> now with Pokemon, um, as someone that's played since the good old days of Red and Blue, you gotta be stubborn sometimes when it comes to the legendary Pokemon. They're gonna not always be the easiest thing to catch with exception of the few that have had their catch rate change over the years. Come here, Cobalion. We're gonna get you on the team. Will-O-Wisp. Was combat, okay, a free Will-O-Wisp there. And the strategy this time is go for one less dig than we have before. Dig. I keep hearing a noise. That's why I keep searching off to the sides, trying to figure out where it's coming from. All right, Phantom. Use Dig. Good. I think we can get one more dig in there. I'm not sure if I did two or three digs in the past. I think we can cram one more in there. I'm not sure. Now that I'm looking at it, and okay, well, we flinched anyway, so it didn't matter. Um, 
Wood Hammer's not very effective. That'll maybe help us out here. Instead of giving it that extra turn of burn damage. Yeah, there we go. I think that was actually a better call. So now we have several turns of it being in the yellow and red to try and catch it. Nothing there. Come on. Come on, Cobalion. Yeah, a spot in the PC with your name on it. <laughs> right next to some other Cobalion I've caught in the past. In Pokemon Home. Ultra Ball, go! Nothing. Alright. Swords Advance works for me. You're going to take burn damage, and I'm still around for another turn. Let's try again. Don't know what to say. <laughs> All right, we survive because of the Eviolite. It takes burn damage again. It'll be in the red after this next turn. Come on, stay in the ball. I'm going to have to buy more Pokeballs if this keeps up. All right, critical capture. Come on. I don't think we've had one of those work on the legendaries yet. They make them like, oh, this is going to be your chance. And then, uh, no. All right, we're going to get two more throws. Come on. What else can I do to this thing? It's got a status effect. It's down in the red. I mean, geez. We even started throwing Pokeballs early at it. It does not want to go in the ball. That is for sure. All right, we get one more try. Yeah, Verizon was just happy to go in, apparently. All right, we'll try again. I mean, some people are going to comment probably that I shouldn't be burning it because of the damage. But we, A, we did that to Verizon and it worked. B, with a status effect like that, we should have high enough chances that that's not a problem at that point. Uh, we are actually out of... Um, Revival herbs, so we're going to fly back to the, uh, the base here to heal up our Pokemon. <sighs> Alright, we'll give it one more try since it's being stubborn. And uh, if I don't catch it this time, then uh, maybe we'll go give Taraki in a look here. Lakeside cave there that I hovered over just before um, flying back here. That's where you can find uh, Terrakian. All right, let's see. Get back out here again. I think I have enough Pokeballs that we can make one more run at this before I have to uh, buy more. Go ahead and pick up some Watts just in case. So that's the other good thing is even if you're out of money, uh, you can buy, as you know, from the wild area. Uh, you can buy uh, Pokeballs using Watts. So, yeah. Come here, Cobalion. Let me catch you this time. Quick ball. Just in case we get lucky. We didn't get lucky. All right. Well, it was worth a shot. All right, Cobalion, I need you to be stupid here and to try and use a fighting move on me. That works. 
I don't think Phantom has missed Will O Wisp yet. Alright. Dig, boy, Dig is really working out on this moveset. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Let's get this thing. All right, Phantom uses Dig. Cobalion takes a hit. All right, here comes the burn damage. All right. Shadow Ball instead of Wood Hammer this time. So we'll do a little bit more damage, but at the same time, not as much as Dig, hopefully. I think that worked out perfectly. Plenty of opportunities to catch it now. We just need it to cooperate with us here. <laughs> well, we got a shake at least. That's more than we got on some of the throws last time. Alright, throw number two. Somehow worse than throw number one. Ultra Ball. One again. All right, here we go again. Row number four. One zero, one zero so far. Is it speaking to me in binary code? Is it telling me no? <laughs> Uh. It's got the same capture rate as Verizon, so I don't know why it's uh, putting up so much more of a fight. It's not even close. Not even close. Come on. Yeah, let me catch this thing eventually, right? It's not even shaking. I don't know what else to do. We didn't have any trouble with the Reggies. We didn't have which are arguably harder to catch, in my opinion. And we had no issue with Verizon, but for some reason Cobalion doesn't want to <laughs> be caught. All right, well, as promised and stated earlier, we'll go check out Terrakian. Um, and I guess come back to Cobalion. Well. No, nah, I think I'm going to be stubborn. We're just going to keep going for Cobalion. I did that with uh, Regice and Registeel, where I just went back and forth. I did the same thing. Um, do I have enough Pokemon that I could do this without... Phantom, probably not, unless we just got real lucky with its moveset selection, so let's fly back. <sighs> I was hoping that I could wrap up the legendaries here in like two episodes. Especially with how quickly the uh, Verizon capture went. I was hoping I could get uh, all three, uh, that I could get all the Swords of Justice and maybe even a legendary bird or two this episode and then finish up the remaining legendaries the following episode. But uh does not look like that's going to be the case since Cobalion had uh, different, um, different ideas in mind. All right, we only have a handful of Pokeballs, so uh, we'll see how far we get with this attempt. All 
Uh, All right, Cobalion. Let's see if it's if this time's the magic number. Come on. Let's go, Phantom. Hit it with Will O Wisp again. Phantom's a beast. It hasn't missed uh, Will O Wisp yet. Alright. Dig. It's gonna hurt. We survived. Good job, Phantom. Come on. All right, all right. Let's go. Um, you know what? What do we got here? Four Pokeballs, so I guess we will wait to chuck Pokeballs at him. So that, that, that's usually about what we get. We usually get about four to five throws in these encounters, I've noticed. So that's not terrible. And then uh, after this encounter, whether we catch him or not, we'll move on to uh, trying the... Um, like, we'll go on to move and more, uh, buy more Pokeballs. Premier Ball. As you say, if that worked, that would have been unreal after it busted out of all those Ultra Balls. Okay. Let's try a Great Ball. It's blue. You're blue. Oh my gosh, we got a... We actually got a Shake with a Great Ball. All right. Ultra Ball. I thought that was it. It fooled me. I thought that was it. Uh, that's heartbreaking. Man. I really thought we had it there. Um... This one probably won't shake at all, knowing how Pokemon works. Yes! On the last Pokeball! <laughs> Alright. Well then. Uh, a little more dramatic than I really needed. You could kind of feel my heart beating after that one. But, uh... Whew! Okay. Two Pokemon down for the Swords of Justice, one to go. We're going to desperately need to buy Pokeballs, though. Actually, before we go... Boop. Alright. We'll also find out while we're at it if we have any money to speak of whatsoever to uh, buy Pokeballs with. Get off the bike. Go in there. There we go. Alright. Mr. Shop Guy. Sell. Pretty sure I'm not going to need Ethers for anything at this point, since we've already beat the champion and everything. Um, I don't think I need that lone extra Max Mushroom. Actually, you know what? Well, I was going to say I'll get rid of all the berries, but I might, I'll need berries for the... Uh, Special thing I talked to you guys about. Because this isn't my main save file, so I don't really care what berries are on here. Uh, same with a lot of the, with some of the items. Not all the items, but some of the items. I'll probably keep evolutionary stuff, but then get rid of the uh, extra items that I don't need. Uh, like we don't, well... Like, I don't need the Armorite ore, really, to be perfectly honest. Or the Chip Pot. I don't need the Chip Pot. Yeah, I will get rid of the Evolutionary items. I got a couple extra files, so I can uh, use those for the items if I really need them that badly. Zamazenta's not coming back to the... Oh, okay, they're not going to let me sell that. King's Rock... Light ball is useless if I'm not using Pikachu. Uh, can't 
can't think of a situation where I'll actually use the Misty Seed in this uh, playthrough. Uh, we'll keep the Jolly Mint for now in case I end up giving that to one of the Legendaries before I send them to Pokemon Home. Um, I don't use Stored Power ever, so I know I can get rid of that. Same with Stealth Rock. Frick. On pass, uh, spikes. Bad. We don't need our fossils for this playthrough, or the nugget, or the star piece. There we go. Look at this. We're going from zero to sixty-three thousand so far. Uh, leave those for the cooking. All right. So we can buy a few pokeballs too. Uh, in in addition to uh, using our watts. 79. That actually should be plenty. We might not have to use the watts. So we'll hang on to our watts for now for uh, possible future use. All right. So we'll fly down here to the Dinah Tree Hill and uh, go look in the cave. Uh, do, 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 right in here. So, Terrakian should be somewhere in here. I'm not sure where. I don't know if it's real obvious or if I have to search a little bit. There's a Noivern. An Agron. Okay, it's obvious. It's right here on the first floor. I mean, on the bottom floor. Okay. Alright, Terrakian. Let's see. This is also convenient because... Uh, the special thing I was talking about regarding the Three Swords of Justice is right here in this area after, uh, where, Tera where we're at right now to get Terrakian. So uh, this is pretty convenient, too. I don't even have to fly. I can just go out of the cave to where we got to go. Will-O-Wisp Will again. We cannot get uh, <laughs> Phantom to miss that. All right, you are weak against both Woodhammer and Dig. I'm going to go for the big play and try to hit it with Woodhammer. For more damage, even though it will probably KO us. All right, well, that worked. We're going to be able to catch it a lot more quickly. Or let me rephrase that. We're going to be able to throw Pokeballs at it more uh, quickly. Oops, I forgot we had Cobalion with us. My bad. Oh, well. Ultra Ball. I was going to say, really? We're going to catch it on the first try? After all the crud that Cobalion was putting us through? All right, it's had a few uh, swords dances, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, let's put Cobalion out there. That way, at the very least, if we get Cobalion to lose, it won't mess up its EV spread or anything. That's competitive talk for people watching this that don't do uh, competitive battles. All right, po Ultra Ball go. It's being a lot more cooperative, though, than Cobalion. Our first two Pokeball throws have both taken it to the limit. I mean, before it bursted out. Burst out, I mean. Whatever. All right, we'll get one more throw at it. At the very least, I think it's more promising since it's not bursting out immediately. Oh, there we go. I jinxed myself. Alright, so it's going to be beat. Oh. What's that noise again? I'm trying to figure out where that's coming from. Oh well. Alright. Sure, we'll give a run with those three and see what happens. I can't imagine that we win, but we'll give it a shot. Alright. Terrakian should respawn. And there we go.
All right, come on, Terrakian. Let me catch you here. I still have enough time. I can try to get the uh, other surprise this show if uh, you let me catch you. Nope, you went straight for close combat. No swords dancing or anything this time, huh? All right. So we have, what, Riolu and Pupitar? Let's go for Dig on the off chance that it does Swords Dance. I don't think it will, but just in case. Oh, it did. We're going to have a chance of at least hitting it. So we might get at least one Pokeball throw at it this time. And its defenses are down from the close combat. Nice, Pupitar. Nice. We at least can attempt throwing balls at it. Of course it didn't work. Oh, he missed. Okay, that works. Come on. Come on. Go in the ball, please. Please. <laughs> Okay. Let's try this again. There's a close combat. Pupitar goes down. All right. We'll get one, maybe two more throws at it, depending on what attacks it picks. If it picks Swords Dance, it'll buy us extra turns. Yeah, when it when it takes too long, there you know that uh, you know it's not it's not happening. <laughs> Come on. Give me all these extra chances and I still can't get it. There's your ball game on that one. Alright, do we have time for another encounter this episode? I think we have time for one more encounter. One encounter. At least this one's actually a little bit easier to, and quicker to get to than the uh, one Cobalion was at. As long as I don't run into any Pokemon on the way there. Right, alright, and right in here. There we go. Come on. Let's get you in here for the nice people watching this video. <laughs> Let's get all three in one video, please. All right, Woodhammer. Swords Dance, that works for me because you aren't doing anything this turn. There goes the Woodhammer. Okay. This one might have higher uh, defense EVs than the last one. Shadow Ball it. If you get to hit again, it went for another Swords Dance. All right, I think we can hit it with another Shadow Ball and be okay. It went for Close Combat, which doesn't affect us. Here comes our Shadow Ball. Good. It's actually on lower health than it had last time. All right, here we go. First one, no good. Swords Dance again. Well, if it does hit us with anything, uh, we're going down instantly, that's for sure. You can use the fighting moves all you want. Just stay away from Stone Edge, and uh, I'll be happy with that.
Come on, Terrakian. Get in the ball, please. It's giving us chances. It's not attacking us. <laughs> When it does attack, it's stuff like close combat that doesn't work. Don't know what I was expecting there. Come on, please. Let me catch you. Legendary Pokemon are a good lesson for those that play Pokemon about patience. Um, mine is mine are cert my patience is certainly being tested right now. Uh, but it's all about being patient, and eventually you get your reward if you're patient. Even though I would have liked to see something better there. Okay, it missed the Stone Edge. That helps. Come on, Terrakian, go in the ball. <sighs> Man, it's not even shaking now. Come on. On the bright side, Phantump is perfect for fighting these guys with. Except for Stone Edge, they can't really touch us. Hey, we got all three in the same episode. All right. We won't uh, do the special surprise this episode, I guess, but um, I'll go ahead and um, bike over to where the spot is that you need to do it, uh, and then um, in a future episode, I don't know if it'll be the next one or the one after, we will... Um... Oh, you know what? Actually, I take that back. Uh, I might do that as part of a different um, themed episode, so... Uh... Thank you all very much for watching. Um, I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.